guys welcome back to my youtube channel i got my little sous chef here today and what are we making salmon <laughs> and we're making salmon in a delicious red sauce this sauce is tomato based so all you need is a can of tomato paste to make this happen um, we're gonna go through our ingredients what we got here eppies <laughs> We have green pepper, red pepper, oh, I point to red pepper. This is a yellow pepper, um, red pepper. We have some thyme, we have a whole onion. Um, we're using wild caught salmon for this. Um, as you can see, we got these little horseshoe style. Um, you can also use a snapper, that would work for this. And this will serve a family of four for at least two days because you know what happens, this is so fleshy and it's so meaty that you can actually cut it in half and it's like one serving for an adult. Um, and even for the kids, you can just cut it in half and it's enough for dinner. dinner. Also, we have oil right here. You can use canola oil, corn oil, you can even use olive oil. And as for our seasonings, what we got here? We got, we got, the, we got what's this? The, the, the onion pow powder. Onion powder. What we got? Adobo. Adobo. We got what? What does this say? Seafood seasoning. We got to show it. When, we, when, we, when you tell them, you got to show it. Yeah. All right. And we have garlic powder, which we're running low on. I gotta get some new garlic powder. So first things first, um, once you rinse your salmon, you pat it dry. Um, if you're going to use whole snapper or snapper filet, you can use about three to four pounds for uh, that recipe and it'll work, okay? So first order of business, um, what we can do is chop our vegetables. So let's chop our vegetables and we'll head right to the stove. This recipe is super easy. It's ready in about 15 to 20 minutes and it's the perfect thing to make when you're just running low on time and you don't wanna to spend too much time in the kitchen. For the salmon, we are only going to season it up with the all-purpose seasoning and the seafood seasoning. Um, we don't want to over-season this because of course we don't want it to be too salty. So what we're going to do is just use our all-purpose seasoning and our seafood seasoning when we're building the sauce. We'll be sure to include the onion powder, the garlic powder, and everything else. So let's go. Nine. Okay, so, so for each salmon, we are just going to sprinkle about half a teaspoon of the seafood seasoning. I already started on this one. I'm going to flip it over to the other side. You can put half a teaspoon on either side. If you don't have the seafood seasoning, you're welcome to use Old Bay. And sometimes if I see like a stray bone, I like to take the bone out. And then I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of the all-purpose seasoning. Flip it back over. And that's it. And you're gonna do that for each salmon. And now we're ready to build our sauce. We have a frying pan here. Make sure you have a very wide frying pan so you have enough space to fit all of the salmon or snapper, whichever fish you're using. We're going to add a quarter cup of our oil into the pan. Let that heat up for maybe one minute or so. And we are going to add epis into the pot, which is the green seasoning. I am going to link this recipe in the description box so you don't have to worry about it. All right, so we got our onions and peppers, our thyme inside of here. We're just gonna saute this for about a minute or so. And then the next thing we're going to do is add our tomato paste. I have my spoonful of tomato paste. This is not a lot, I didn't even measure this. This is just a small spoon 
that I took out of my dish drawer. This is it, just a small spoon and we're gonna drop it right in there. So now that we've put our tomato paste in there, I'm just gonna go ahead, saute this for like another minute or so. And at this moment, what I'm gonna do is start seasoning this. We're gonna add our onion powder, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, and seafood seasoning. We're gonna put a teaspoon of each seasoning. You can also adjust the seasoning to your taste, whether you want it a little bit more seasoned or you're watching your sodium intake. So you can also use a lot less seasoning. You can swap in for some Mrs. Dash salt-free seasoning. Feel free to season this with whatever seasoning you like. You are not uh, confined to the seasonings that I'm using. You can always adjust this recipe to your dietary needs. Right now, I'm just gonna add some water. Here we go. That was two cups of water, and we are now ready to add our salmon. If you'd like, you can also cover this and let it simmer for about five minutes before you add the salmon. If you're a little pressed for time, you don't have to wait. You can just put your salmon in right now if you want to you can also add a scotch bonnet pepper so this pan is only going to fit three salmon sometimes when that happens you know what i do i just roast the other one in the oven and we just use the same gravy We're gonna cover that and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes. 15 minutes later, and this is what our dish looks like. So I decided to serve this salmon in red sauce with some boiled plantain, white rice, and a little salad on the side. And this was dinner. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.